Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Access database video tutorial. In Windows Media Player, if you maximize it to full size, you better see this video clearly. Okay, in today's video I'm going to talk about combo boxes. Now essentially a combo box is a, is a control, um, it's like a text field but it's a, it's a drop down box where you select a, a, from a list of predefined values. So for example on this form we can see we have a field here for country, I've called it country test, but we can see the country that's been entered, it's called Costa Rica, but it's actually not spelt correctly. Now in the same way we have for UK, we have another entry here for United Kingdom. So if we were to perform a query, say you wanted all your records which have Costa Rica um, in them, or every record from Costa Rica, um, it wouldn't actually pull this one up because it's not spelt correctly. In the same way, if you wanted every record from the UK, it would only pull this one up, but it wouldn't pull this one. United Kingdom would not be recognized. So, it w so what you want, essentially, is a, a drop-down box of predefined values where you can select one and only one, and there'll be no problems with misspelling or anything like that. Okay, so if we go into the design view <coughs> from our toolbox, we're going to select, make sure the wizard's on here, and then we're going to select the combo box control. We'll drop that on our form. Access will ask us where we want, uh, where our data is coming from. In this case, it's going to be from a query. Click next, click queries. This top one here, query country. Now it's asking us what fields um, we want to show in the combo box. <coughs> um, I'm going to show both the ID and this one here, country of origin. It's probably better just to show two fields in your combo box anyway. Click the next button, move on. Um, now we're going to actually hide the ID field because we don't want to really show that to the to the user. Um, so we can drag that along there. Do that, just move it back. All you have to do is make sure you have the double arrow here, press your mouse down, drag it along to the left and it's gone. You can expand this one if you want as well to show the countries. Now click next. Right now Axis is asking us um, when you select a row in a combo box you can store a value from that row in your database. So we're going to select the ID field to store in our database. Click next on that. And we want to store it in the ID field that sits behind this form. So we have country, select that. Country contains a long integer behind the form and that long integer will take the value of the ID from our combo box. Now we click next and now Access is asking us to give our combo box a name so we'll just call it country and that's all um, all the answers Access needs so we'll click finish and here we have our new combo box so we'll run the form ok Now, we still have our misspelled country here that we put in earlier, but also we select the drop down box, and there it is Costa Rica. Correct spelling. There's only one entry in here, so we cannot add another record with a different spelling. If you try and put something in, spell it wrong, you're going to get a message saying text you entered isn't in the list. Go back and select Costa Rica. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. We cannot put put in UK because it doesn't exist. So although we, we used to have UK here, it's now become United Kingdom in our drop down box. So now our queries will pull out the correct records because we're only ever going to have one entry or one type of country in there. There's no question that we can put UK and United Kingdom because only United Kingdom exists in the drop down. 
so there's no way of misspelling anything or adding double entries for countries which could be known by different names okay so that's just a quick overview of the benefits of a combo box hope you've enjoyed this video look forward to showing you the next one